Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel and in this video I want to talk to you about insulation and why it might not even be a good idea sometimes. Now on the Skill Builder channel we get a lot of emails from people often with elaborate drawings saying I've got this outhouse, I've got this shed, I've got this garage or whatever and I want to insulate it and they show us the drawing, they show us their intended scheme and they say what do you think about this? I'm fed up with going in there, it's cold, it's miserable, it's damp, I just want to warm it up a bit. Now what became abundantly clear to me from these emails is that some people think that insulation in itself will keep a building warm. Warmer. So in other words, you've got a shed, you've got an outbuilding, garden office, whatever you've got, you insulate it, then there's something in the insulation which means that that building will stay warmer than the outside atmosphere. If that were true, all our troubles would be over. We would simply insulate buildings and not bother heating them. The simple fact is that what insulation is doing is it's stopping heat transferring to cold. Now if you've got something like a pipe and you lag a pipe and the water stays still, maybe you've gone away on holiday or it's not a tap you use very often or something, so the water is still inside that pipe and you've got that pipe beautifully lagged, you wonder why it bursts. Well the reason it bursts is because the heat that's in that pipe, that's in that water if you like, is gradually escaping through the insulation a bit slower than it would otherwise do but gradually that heat will escape through the insulation which means that that pipe will be the same temperature as the outside temperature. If it's below freezing on the outside then it'll be below freezing on the inside of the pipe. When the weather warms up outside that pipe remains frozen sometimes even for days after the weather's warmed up. Which is why you often don't discover a burst pipe until days after the thaw. So when it comes to things like outbuildings, workshops, garden offices and things like that, I sometimes say to people, you know what, you'd be better off if you didn't insulate that building at all. Now that might not be music to the insulation manufacturer's ears, but I gather they're doing all right at the moment, mainly because they're recladding all those tower blocks. They can't keep up with demand. So the first question that I ask people is, what are you using the building for and how long do you intend to stay in it pretending to work? If for example you're in there eight hours a day that would be a different proposition to if you only went in there say three or four hours a week. Okay let's have a look at this with the help of one of my brilliant drawings. Not. So we've got ourselves a lovely little shed or office or whatever you want to call it at the bottom of the garden and we decide that we want to put some insulation in it. So first thing we do, we put some insulation in here. So it could be any insulation, it could be rock wall, it could be PUR, PIR, that's the Celotex Kingspan stuff, anything like that. We've made a nice job of it, we've put the insulation in the roof. We then decide we're going to go to whole hog and we're going to put a bit of insulation in the walls. And because we're really diligent and we've got money to burn, we put some insulation in the floor. Okay, so what's missing from this drawing? Oh yeah, a door. Very often forget to put doors in buildings. So there's your door and everything else in this building is nicely insulated. So we create a little bit of heat in here and because it's nicely insulated, we've stopped that heat traveling to the colder outdoor air. Now, if you're going to spend eight hours or whatever you're going to spend in that room and you're going to heat it, then that's absolutely no problem. But if you're only going down there occasionally, you go down there and you notice that the building isn't as warm as it was. Because of course, what that insulation is doing is it's also stopping heat from traveling in to the building. So if that building's cold and the sun's come out, let's put a little sun in here, shall we? The sun is beating down on this roof and it's trying to get some heat into that building because the heat will always travel to cold. That's colder in there than it is out there. But of course we've got all that lovely insulation stopping it. So we go from our lovely sunny garden, we walk down the garden path, we go into our building and we go, blimey it's cold in here. Now it may well be that in the very hot weather, having an insulated building like that is just what you want because you can go in there, it's a nice cool building and you can work very comfortably without getting too hot. And of course, if you didn't have the insulation, there would be days when the building was too cold. A little bit like Goldilocks, there'll also be days when it's just right. So what I'm getting at here is it's not about the building, it's about you. Yeah, for once it really is all about you. 
we have to have a building that suits the occupier, suits the owner. Now I've worked in big old houses that haven't been occupied for a while and I've been working away and it's been freezing cold. I've actually walked outside to get warm. Because the old building has got cold, it's got this great thermal mass and it takes a long time to heat up. So we decide that we're only using this building occasionally and we're going down there and it's getting cold, it's getting damp, all our lovely tools are rusting away on their pegboard. So we decide that we're going to do away with a bit of insulation and we're going to get that lovely sun coming into the building and making the building warm even when we're not in it and it's keeping our tools dry and it's stopping them from rusting away so happy days this is free heat until the government find a way of taxing it just give them time they're working on it for sure so what we've got to do is we've got to make a little calculation we've got to decide whether getting free heat from the sun is better than insulating the building and trying to keep the heat in that possibly we've paid for and as i said that comes down to a question of how long you're going to be using the building and of course ideally what we would like to do is we'd like to have insulation that we could put on and take off according to the weather and according to the conditions so rather like the clothes we wear it stops the heat from escaping from our body but on a warm day we can shed those clothes and bask in the lovely sunshine but of course those things aren't practical in a building we can't be taking the insulation off and putting it back on again willy-nilly rather like a striptease artist but one thing we can do is we can insulate all this building as was if we're lucky enough to have a south facing aspect not too shaded by trees or anything else we can put some roof windows in which allow the sun's rays to come through and warm up the room and of course if it gets too hot we can have a blind on that roof window which we pull down similarly if you had a south facing aspect and you could put a nice big sliding door or bifold door across there and you could have all that lovely sunshine coming into the building you would be gaining from the free heat because we've got something called low e glass what that does is as the heat comes in if the heat starts to want to escape again the silver coating invisible silver coating on the inside of the glass traps the heat in there and stops it escaping out again you have this problem of the building getting too warm but hopefully you can open those bifold doors or whatever on a nice day and you can get a lovely bit of fresh air and ventilation coming in there or of course you could put blinds over there or some other mechanism so so get yourself some free heat if you can but if you can't do that if you can't organize it in this controlled manner let the building warm up and cool down as nature intended so i hope that's helped clarify a little point about insulation and it's a great idea to have insulation don't go stripping all the insulation out of your house expecting to get it warmer but we do get quite a few emails from people saying that they've had external wall insulation put on their house and their house now feels noticeably colder so basically what they've done is they've created a fridge you know as a fridge is insulated it's not actually stopping the cold from escaping what it's doing is stopping the heat from coming into the fridge so we ship all the heat out via a a heat pump if you like and then we stop any warm getting back into the fridge until the point where my wife opens the door and stands there for 10 minutes deciding what ingredients she's going to put in tonight's supper god bless her that's the trouble with my wife she just doesn't understand me so i'm roger bisbee keep those questions coming in because we do like to see them and we will try to help but if i can cover a few of the frequently asked questions with a few videos like this it might give me the day off unless of course my wife finds me some jobs to do mm -hmm.